Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, you're looking at the three new bottles that I got in my last haul. Um, I was going to seal them today and I thought that maybe I should make a video on how to seal your bottles for your reborns uh, for those of you who are new. Um, so I'm only going to be sealing one of these but um, on camera. But I have them all here because I'm going to be sealing them all. Um, so for the uh, sealing, you're going to need a kind of glue. I use this one that I bought at Walmart. Uh, in clear, it's silicone, so um, it will not wash away with water. Um, it says that it's ready in 30 minutes, but... I leave it on for 24 hours just to make sure. Um, this is the way that you would seal them. I would say permanently, but sometimes maybe it could deteriorate for some reason or another, so I'm not going to say that, but um, this would be the sure way to seal your bottles. But there are some other ways if you are rushed and you don't have any time or the bottle um, is not sealed yet um, I know that Nook comes with the, uh, some of the bottles come with these little like uh, stoppers and things and then so it goes in the bottle and when you fill it with liquid when you turn it over it can't go into the nipple area um, if you're far away in the video you can't really tell and if one of your Nook bottles doesn't come with it and one of them does, they, um, you can easily put it into another bottle and it'll work just as fine. I mean, this isn't a for sure safe way to keep your Reborn from getting wet. But um, if you're just doing a quick feeding for a video or you just feel like feeding your Reborn a bottle, um, it's, it's a good way to do it quick with a new bottle. Um, that's for the Nook ones. And this is a probably a very unsafe way to do this, but I have done it before and it has <clears throat> worked. I should probably fill up some of these bottles just to show you that it does. Okay, so I just have these uh, two nooks that I have just quickly filled with water. Um, so on this little blue one, I'm going to show you the stopper. So you just pop it in, screw it on, and well, the bottle's wet on the outside, let me dry it. And no water should be able to get through. Um, you can push on the nipple, everything. The water shouldn't get through. Um, it's not, but um, it's not exactly 100% safe, but it'll work for a quick feeding or something. So uh, there's that one. And then this one. I have done before and this one is definitely not the safest but I have taped the nipple before um basically all I did was uh, wrap a piece of tape on the front then on the back one over the top and then again in the front around the back and over the top and it was pretty waterproof I mean nothing came out at all um, and It's still waterproof. Nothing's coming out of there. I'm a little scared now because, um, oh, now it's dripping. I put this tape on probably over a month ago, two months ago. So it's dripping now. But, um, when I put it on right away, it wasn't dripping at all. And now it's a little bit wet, but it's not coming out that much. That's probably not safe at all. But if you had just put the tape on, it worked for at least 10 minutes. So if for some reason you really need to feed your reborn baby um, and you don't have anything but tape, that would be um, a way you could do it, but I would never suggest that. Um, okay, so on to the actual silicone sealant. Um, I think I'm gonna do the boys one. Actually, let me do the little ones so you can see better. 
Um, so, basically what I do is, um, I, I already checked the nipple, but what I would do is check the nipple to make sure there are no air holes because sometimes the bottles do have little holes where air would come out. Um, like this nook. Sorry about my birds in the background. It has like this little, like a hole for air. Uh, you want to make sure that you get all of the uh, holes plugged up. And I already checked this one. And it doesn't seem to be anywhere where um, any liquid could seep through except for the uh, main hole on the top. So I use the silicone glue for everything, by the way. I love it. Um, so basically all you're going to do is um, put the uh, glue stick into it. No, put it this way and push down on the top like this so I'm just gonna squeeze i don't know if you can see it i'm just gonna spread it around in there and there we go I don't know if you can see it through there, but, um, so I sealed the entire top area, and it comes up to there where the stick ends, that's where the glue finishes, and then just kind of play with the nipple, get as much in the hole as possible. Um, you could put more. I don't know if I'm going to put any more. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. I think that should do it. Um, sorry, I hit the camera. Um, I did push to the top and then squeeze. And my tip is all dirty. But, um... You can see a tiny little piece, I don't know if you can see it sticking out, right there. So I know that it went through. So pretty much that's all I do to seal the bottle and then I just have to let it dry. So I just kind of leave it somewhere. I'll save for my cats so they don't knock it over because they knock everything over. Uh, to dry and I leave it for 24 hours just in case before I put in any uh, kind of liquid or anything so uh, that's how I seal my bottles thanks for watching